Hey everyone, I'm Pat Keegan and welcome back to the DIY Home Build channel. I wanted to put together this um, very quick, hopefully, skill building tutorial on measuring and sizing the um, compartments that we have in the uh, mobile shop cart that we're building in our Open Shop Friday series. Um, I had a comment, a very nice comment and a question um, with re, uh, from uh, a user by the name of New Woodworker. And I first want to apologize because I accidentally deleted the comment. I'm still kind of a YouTube neophyte. And so I'm, I'm learning as I go and I accidentally deleted and I, I can't get the comment back. So um, anyway, um, New Woodworker had posed a question or, or a request about a little bit of a skill building video with respect to how to compute the compartment sizes that we used for the mobile shop cart. And so I'm going to do that using um, the SketchUp that you see in front of you here. And then I'm going to switch over to actually Microsoft Excel to do the cal calculations. And if you've never used Excel before, um, you know, don't get nervous about it. It's, it's actually really easy to do. And um, or you can use a pen and paper or a hand calculator. That's fine, too. You'll be able to at least understand when I have everything kind of laid out in Excel for you, you'll at least be able to understand how to do it on paper if you don't. And I apologize because sometimes I go through this stuff very quickly and I, I've just been doing it for so long and you guys know as, as well as I do, when you've been doing something for a long time, you, you get good at it and you forget, you know, some of the finer things that, that you, you know, or the, or the simpler tasks that, you know, we all struggled with when we first started. And it's so easy in woodworking to make mistakes with your measurements or, you know, everything. And there's a lot to keep in mind. So I am going to just go through it here really quickly. Um, what I've done here is I've got a 96 inch piece of plywood that's 24 inches wide. This is essentially close enough for, for what we're doing here. This is basically the, the dimensions of the um, mobile shop cart that we're building and I've got one side panel here and in this mobile shop cart if you haven't seen the video you can watch it there I explained some of this there as well but I've decided it, and it's completely arbitrary I've decided to have four bays with which or in which to put drawers and um, and if you watch the video I think you can actually see that because the carcass is complete in the first video and that was really arbitrary and it was also arbitrary for me me to make them all equal sized bays and it's no more difficult math or anything to make different sized bays if you want you can make you know two smaller ones on the end and four medium sized ones in the middle or whatever you want i just decided to make four equal ones um, and you can roughly tell that because I'm using a 96 inch piece of plywood, the four equal ones would be about 24 inches. But, but you have to know exactly because if you've seen our kitchen videos, I talk extensively about drawers and drawer hardware and how important it is to get that measurement exactly right so that your drawer boxes fit smoothly. So, um, I'm going to switch over now to Excel because I'm going to, well, let me first do this. I'm going to actually just, um, copy these and I'm going to set them out here kind of randomly and and it's to let me zoom in here it's just show you to illustrate one of the points that you need to understand when you're making cabinets like this is that if I want to have one two three four compartments or bays I'm gonna need one two three four five partitions and that seems obvious but there's actually been times where you know especially when I was first starting out that I had forgotten that that fact you know or I've I had to go back and recut a, a fifth piece or another piece because I had forgotten that fact so you're always gonna have one more partition than you do um, compartment and the reason is you're gonna have two end caps and we always kinda of forget that that last end cap sometimes. So if I want to make all of these equal, I'm going to have to figure out how much of this 96 inch piece of plywood is going to be occupied by the space taken up by these five partitions. And so that's very key. And so when I do a project like this um, and it gets too complicated to do in my head and I don't feel like doing it on, on paper, I'll, I'll turn to Microsoft Excel. And the re if, you can, if you have Excel or you know Excel or you use it, I, I just use it all the time. I, I use it for my cut lists. I use it for computing, you know, face frame dimensions and, and my cut lists out of those face frame and, and everything. So it's really a, a handy, handy, handy tool for me to get, to get used to. So I'm going to walk you through the steps here, the calculations of calculating a compartment size that is, that is totally equal. It's not much math 
to, to change it if you want to have smaller or larger or more compartment sizes you just have to be able to follow the same steps that I have here so the first thing I want to fill in here in the Excel and I'll show you why I use it in a, there's two reasons why I use it one it's fast two I can create some very basic formulas just by selecting the cells and then um, it'll also do fractions so um, it'll do fractional math by just kind of selecting this uh, formatting here for fraction and, it, and I, I love that because I'm so used to using fractions and everything so you know whatever but anyway so the number of compartments I have is one is four and then as I told you the number of partitions I'm gonna need is always one more from the fra uh, from the compartment so or the spaces so I could put five in here that's fine or if I want to make a formula out of it because I'm not sure if I really want four maybe I want five or six equal compartments I can just say equals and then select the number four which it puts the cell number in here and then plus one so whatever the cell here is in C3 it's gonna just say add one to that now if I decide later I'm like oh, I'm gonna build something with six compartments it's automatically gonna calculate the next uh, set of partitions so anyway uh, not meant to be an Excel tutorial if you really want I could probably put one together uh, I just love it but I'm gonna stay with four compartments and five partitions because of it now the total available space is the space in the field that I'm building and I already said that that was 96 inches and if you're paying very close attention to the um, Open Shop Friday video where, I, where I'm building uh, this mobile shop cart, you'll know that it's 96 and a half inch piece that I'm using and I'm going to address that in a little bit in a, uh, a little bit later in the video. So I know that the space consumed by all the partitions is basically just the number of partitions that I have times the width of, the part of each partition. So my widths is, are always three quarter. I'm using three quarter inch plywood. So again, I could, you know, basically on Excel, I could say that this is equal to this cell, which has the number of partitions in it, multiplied, which is an asterisk, and then the width of the partitions. So it gives me a quick calculations that say, hey, if I have five partitions, it's going to be three and three quarters inches total space of this 96 that's going to be consumed by partitions, which means the remaining space that I have to use to... Um, size my compartments or my bays is just going to be the difference of these two. It's going to be with the total space minus the space consumed by the partitions. So let's just do that. But in Excel, it's pretty cool because I can do it by math or by cell. So I'm going to say equals that cell minus that cell. And that's going to basically give me 92 and a quarter inches. As I said, you can do this all on a calculator. The process is the same. So now my compartment size is since I want them all equal my compartment size is just gonna be the remaining space I have to use for the compartments divided by the number of compartments that I want so in this case I'm just gonna say it's equal to that cell because that's the remaining divided by the number of compartments I want which is happens to be in that cell and that's 23 so if I were to build this cabinet and I wanted equal compartments here then they would each be 23 inches which means I would take my ruler and if I were on a um, you know if I was doing this on the uh, on the uh, actual mobile shop cart like I did in the video I would actually cut a spacer block because you know how much I love spacers I would cut a spacer block 23 inches I would attach the end panel like so here and then I would lay that spacer block in here and it would basically be 23 inches and I could do 23 here, but it's not going to be exactly right because if you remember, we just kind of arbitrarily, uh, you know, put these uh, as they are. So, um, so anyway, I would put 23 inches, and then I would set the next panel, and then I would lay the spacer block, set the next panel, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and and then until we get to the end, then I would attach obviously the end. So if I go back to this, I wanted to point out one other thing and so I even could put like you know size of spacer block if you want between uh, partitions okay so um, 
that's that one. Now, the re, the, one of the things I wanted to point out to you is, is that if you're going to be doing this on a calculator, or even if you're doing this in Excel, this Excel, I could write a slight change in a formula to make sure that it rounds to the nearest 16th or 8th or, you know, or quarter or something like that. But for this plan, it really doesn't. But I just wanted you to, to point out here real quick that each fraction has a decimal equi equivalent. So a quarter inch is obviously 0.25, half inch is probably obviously 0.5, and then I you know, put in 1 16th, 1 8th, 3 16th. And the reason I did this is to show you that um, sometimes when you use Excel and you don't put in a modulation formula that makes it round to the nearest 16th inch, for example, and it's going to give you a fraction with a fifth or a third in it. And I just wanted to point out kind of where a fifth and a third were equal to. So in our um, in our cabinet, the actual piece of plywood is 96 and a half. So I can either put a decimal here or I can actually do 96 and a half. Now when I click return, because I used little cell indications and not actual numbers, it's going to automatically update for me. And you'll notice that, oh man, each partition is 23 and a fifth. And you might say, well, what in the heck is 23 and a fifth? What's a fifth? You know, we don't have the fifth fraction marked on our on our tape measure. And so I can just quickly look over here and say, well, one fifth is approximately 0.2, and that's close to 0.18, which is 3 sixteenths. And that's the same thing for a third. I might get, you know, 23 and a third. That's really 23.33. And that's very, very close to 5 sixteenths, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's good to know kind of the fraction and the fraction and the, the decimal equivalent for that. So this would really be, um, you know, 23 and 3 sixteenths. And that's actually, this measurement here is actually what I'm using for each of the equal bays in the mobile shop cart project. So that's it for this skill builder. I hope you learned a lot from it and I hope you can now, you know, you know, confidently size any kind of partitions or any kind of spaces you want. It doesn't matter if they're all equal. It just makes this a little bit easier. There's just maybe a, another step or two if you have, you know, partitions of different sizes, but it's definitely, definitely all the same process you need to know your additional you need to know your available space you need to know how many partitions you have and you need to know how much space is consumed by those partitions so that you can figure out what your remaining space is in order to get your the size of your compartments or your bays anyway i hope that was very helpful and i appreciate you watching in the comments if you have any questions please post it below the video and thanks for tuning in and watching we'll see you next time